Well, now with the Dow below 12,000, which candidate has the best solution for the economy and your money? Let's ask our market pros. We have Bob Froelich here and Joe Batapagli. Also joining us, Democratic strategist Bernard Whitman. Okay, gentlemen, welcome, Bob. Let me start with you. You know, it looks like whoever wins in November is going to have their hands full, but. Is this the time to be raising taxes in this economy? Absolutely, positively not. Especially if you look at our market and look at the area that's in most trouble, it's the financial services industry. You know, and, and what we really need to do is whatever we could do to help them. My gosh, it would be the death bell if we, if we don't extend the dividend tax and long-term capital gains tax to the area that's in the most trouble in our stock market right now. Yeah, but Bernard, I mean, you hear Senator Clinton. She obviously thinks this is a, a winning strategy. Well, I think that we've been through through this before. I mean, with Ronald Reagan, we tried trickle-down Reaganomics, and that generated the biggest deficits in American history until we had a Clinton comeback. economic expansion. But then we had a Clinton comeback. No, 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 no. The economy started expanding, coming back in 1982. It was good during the Clinton years, but it was good during the Reagan years. To balance the budget. And then once we turned that government over to George W. Bush, he has now given us bigger deficits than even Ronald Reagan had. Uh, Joe, you know, I know this, this market is sick, but the one thing is the budget deficit as a percent of GDP is not that high. Well, that's right. And the fact of the matter is it's not about the tax rates, nor is it about interest rates. It's the simple fact that we've got a major asset class, housing, in fast decline, which is making the mortgages go underwater, which means to say the value is less than the value of the home. And there are many Americans who can't make those payments. So making permanent the tax cuts, while good on a longer term basis, isn't necessarily as sad for today. And raising taxes is counterintuitive for the fact that the economy is in slippage. What's required is a public policy response to a disastrous situation in housing. Neither candidate, however, has put forth a strategy to address this immediate problem. Unfortunately, that so, is what is required right so now. So none of the three are giving the right medicine, in your opinion? Well, no, because the problem here is as home prices decline, the value of the mortgages go with it. The inability to pay means these, def these mortgages default. As that mm -hmm. happens, banks decide they can't lend anymore, they raise their standards, so there's less capital available to the economy, which means investors don't want to buy these assets. And when they don't want to buy them, the prices fall. So you're in a spiral that unfortunately will continue this year as yeah. prices decline. So you need a public policy response that could take some of this bad paper Bob, out of the financial system and let it mend. Bob, you know, Joe has a point. I don't hear the candidates addressing what is essentially a pretty severe credit crunch. Yeah, absolutely. That's because it's a hard problem to solve, yeah, exactly. as, as Joe put out. You know, it, it's, it, candidates tend to go for the rhetoric, and, and the rhetoric is really what's driving this election. You know, Joe is absolutely right. I mean, we, we have a serious problem, and it's not as easy as saying to the banks, you know what, you just have to write down your principle. But at the end of the day, we, we can't lose focus on what we started talking about here. Will the economy do better or worse if we extend the taxes or don't extend the taxes? It will do worse if we we don't extend the taxes and better if we have that's what history has shown us but Bob but Bob the opportunity for either candidate either side to put forward some initiatives from the public policy perspective might give them a leg up in the election let's face it when you have a weak economy it's usually bad for the incumbent that happens to be the Republican Party it gives the Democratic Party a reason to bludgeon you to death which Se Senator Clinton yeah. is doing let's bring so in the what strategy. you need let's to do let's, talk. Joe, let's, let's bring in um, Bernard for a second so which Democratic candidate does this best play into? Well, the truth is it plays into both. I mean, right. we ought to ask the voters who the voters trust. And when you have a poll that comes out, like the Pew poll that came out last week, where voters trust the Democrats by a 12-point margin on taxes and a 20-point margin on the economy, that's pretty extraordinary. It's very clear to me that the voters look at the economy, they see either Obama or Clinton, and they can trust one of those versus a guy who, by his own admission, doesn't know a whole lot about economics. All right, we're, we're going to have to leave it there to be continued. Thanks, gentlemen.